Pisces, thanks for visiting. This is reading for uh, October the 7th to October the 13th. And um, as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. And uh, I'm going to start your reading for Pisces right now. So the first card you have your past is uh, the King of Swords. Okay, so there are a few different things here. This King's very, very practical. You know, he's very no-nonsense, he doesn't take any rubbish, he's very, very um, factual, um, logical, all of that kind of thing. Uh, and I think you had a lot of practical things to do, but they were, try they were kind of mixed up in emotional things, and you're kind of trying to separate those two things, because I think your emotions were kind of taking over the practical, and you didn't want that to happen, so you had to kind of push the two apart if that made sense because if that makes sense I should say um, you had a lot of deadlines you had a lot of things to do um, I think you had something you were preparing for getting ready for quite a big thing in your life um, and you know you just didn't have time to be all emotional that's how you're feeling but of course sometimes this just happens your emotions get in the way but you really struggled to kind of push them out of the way because I'm getting this I don't have time for this I don't have time to kind of nurse myself through these emotions I think there was someone who you're either breaking up with or you had um, you were kind of separating from it was something like that and um, you just had to kind of try to put that out of your mind because you had all these deadlines all these practical things that you had to do so it's like you know if you look at this king he's guarding himself and so it was a bit like you're guarding yourself against yourself in a way because you were kind of shielding yourself from those emotions because you had to do those things um, and you just couldn't let your emotions out. It was like, no, I can't let them out. I can't let them out. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. So yeah, with this thing you were preparing for, this thing, all these practical things you had to do, I think it was something to do with um, traveling, moving or something. Uh, it might not be a great big move, might be a small move, but it's something to do with that or around that or going to somewhere new. It was like a big change that was coming up and you're kind of thinking about that. So that was all in your mind, you had all of that and um, you know, you're really looking forward to that and you're kind of planning all that. So, you know, you just couldn't, you just couldn't let your emotions get in the way of all of that. And so you had to really kind of suppress them in a way. Very, very difficult struggle. That's what I'm seeing in this card. So much in your head, so much in your mind, so much emotionally as well. And you're really trying to push that all down. That's what I'm seeing in that card. Okay, the next card you have, you pass the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is about this situation, this person you're kind of separating from. Um, yeah, it might have been going a little bit backwards and forwards or more than a little bit. Maybe it was like friends, something more, friends, something more. Um, it might be that, but I think it's also, it might also be um, the fact that you, this is what I think, I think you probably saw this more as a friendship, a head connection. Um, because you had lots and lots of really good conversations with them and you loved all of that but I think and I think you did have a bit of a relationship I think it did go on and off because I'm seeing that as well but you were more invested in um, you know the conversations the head the intellectual stimulation the talks all of that kind of thing a friend kind of thing but they were more heart you know they really felt this more in their heart they were really more about the love the relationship that's what I'm getting very sad situation and I think that's why it was so difficult for you obviously it was very very difficult for them as well but for you you're kind of dealing with all of this and you had to kind of let this go I think both of you did I can't I can't quite see who let who go but it was a very very difficult situation and you just weren't feeling it. You weren't 100% there. And I think you really, you're a feeling person. You're an emotional person. And unless you're 100% there, feelings-wise, it, it's not going to work. So 
again, I'm seeing all these emotions you had bubbling up that you're really upset about this. Um, you know, you're really upset that this whole thing had happened. And I think they might have been upsetting you a little bit as well because I think they were trying to kind of push this and push this and talk to you about this. And you just couldn't, you just couldn't let yourself get there. You're like, no, 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 I can't, I can't deal with this. I have to think practically. So all these emotions was kind of bubbling, bubbling up inside you and you couldn't let them out because that's what it feels like this to me. It feels like, um, it almost feels like it's a balloon inside me and it's all blown up and I have to kind of let it out. That's what it feels like. So if that makes sense to you, um, try and find some kind of an outlet for these emotions because I'm getting this very, very uncomfortable feeling around this and you've got to let all of this out. So, you know, try and do it in some way. I know it's hard to talk to this person because they're seeing things from a very different perspective from you and it wouldn't be right to kind of talk to them about this anyway because you are trying to kind of let this come to an end or you were at this time. So they're not the right person to talk to. So try and find someone you can trust to talk to. If you can't do that, write things down or something. Find some kind of outlet to let your emotions out because I think you'll burst if you don't do that, if you haven't done that already. Okay, the last card you have your past is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they were struggling. You were both struggling. I'm seeing that. You're both struggling with a separation. They were struggling for one reason. You were struggling for another reason. And the reason is that you, again, you saw this as a head connection. They saw this as a heart connection. That's what I'm seeing. You really, really, you know, the thing is, they probably thought this was harder for them because they felt very deep emotions and you didn't feel those emotions on the same level as they did. But you really missed these conversations. It was like, I've lost my friend. I've lost these conversations. You really, really missed that um, about them. But then I think the conversations changed once this kind of whole dynamic changed and they went from conversations about all kinds of different subjects that you loved having with them to this kind of, um, you know, meta conversation, if that makes sense. Conversations about the relationship. They only wanted to talk about that in the end, like, um, oh, ha where is this going? Where's the relationship going? Oh, we've got this problem we have to sort out. And it's, it's one thing to talk about all those kinds of things, but I think when you get to the end and you're like, no, it's at the end now, there's no point in going on and on and on about this. And I think you were getting very exhausted with all of this. So I think in the end, it was just so exhausting for you. I, this sounds really cruel and horrible, but I think it just got so much for you that you just put your sword up and you said, no more, I can't have any more of these conversations. Firstly, Sad to say, but if something's over, it's over. There's no point in going around and around and around because it's not going to make any difference. And, and the other thing was, it was just totally exhausting you. And the other thing was, you had these really, really beautiful memories of these fantastic conversations and you didn't want to spoil that by, you know, turning it into this other kind of a thing that made you feel horrible. So, you know, and, and also you were hurting them. If you kept on talking to them and engaging with them, it was hurting them as well. Because I think they're always like, maybe there's another chance. Maybe we can still work this out. And, you know, each time you spoke to them, it was kind of, oh, maybe this is my chance. And you didn't want to do that. So there was all that happening in there. So if this is all resonating, it sounds very, very cruel, but I think you you were right to keep your sword up at this time because I think if you kept on engaging, you just keep on opening it up and opening it up and, and you'd make it harder for them in the long run. I'm sorry, cross watchers, if you're listening to this. That's just what I'm seeing here. It might not be about you, so please don't go in the comments. <laughs> don't, don't have a go at me. Okay, so the first card you have here present is the King of Wands. Yeah, very, very sad situation. This is what I'm seeing. This is about them. Okay, if you look at this king, he's sitting there. He wants to get up. He wants to get up and go, but he isn't doing that yet. He can't, so he's sitting there. He's still thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I want to get up. I know I can't, so I'm just going to sit here and think about how I'm going to be able to get up and do this. So this is about them. 
they wanted to talk to you. I think this is at the stage where you, you decided to stop engaging. Very sad situation, I know, very, very sad. And they didn't want to stop engaging. But I think they knew that if they came and engaged with you or tried to talk to you, it didn't annoy you or bother you or it'd make things worse. And they just didn't know what to do at this time. So they were very conflicted very confused. Um, if you look at this king as well, behind his head, there's this lizard or this salamander and it's spinning around and around behind his head. So it's like his head spinning with all these thoughts. So I think that's what this person was like at this time. The head was really spinning. I think they probably got out their phone quite a few times to try and contact you and then they put it away. Very, very, very conflicted. Um, very sad. They still had a lot of passion for you as well because if you look at this king his crown has this fire and it's near his head so they still had that so they had to kind of put all of that somewhere very hard for them. Um, yeah very 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 sad. Um, the other thing is in this card you were still preparing, you had this big thing up ahead of you um, might have been a job or it might be a job, it might be studying. There's this time between now and when you actually do start this thing. Yeah, it might be studying, job. There's some kind of moving in this. Uh, yeah, it might be that you're actually moving to a, a totally different place or it might be that, you know, it might just be a little thing. It might be just be that you have to travel, you know, spend more time traveling to get to this. It might just be a small thing, but there is a lot of, you know, a lot of headaches in this, a lot of logistics, a lot of organizing, a lot of stress as well, because I'm, I'm getting the feeling that this is a very big thing for you, a very, very big thing. It's kind of a step up for you. So your, your mind's on that as well, and you're trying to put all this other stuff aside still in this card so that you can concentrate on all of that. Now, I think if you do have worries about this, and I think you do, I think you're stressing about this, it is going to go quite well, I'm seeing that. There are going to be, you know, there are these normal little problems that happen with moves and whatever things. But yeah, my feeling is that, um, you know, it is going to go really well. The thing I'm seeing is though, I think you are going to do this thing, make this move, might be studying, might be career. It's something you've always thought about, you've always wanted, and I think it's there for you. Um, but I think when you do finally do this thing, this is like way down the track when you do this, you'll do this thing, you'll get in, might be studying again, might be a job, and you'll say to yourself, mm, this is okay, but I think I've changed my mind actually. I think I'd really like to do X or Y. So I think, this is going to be a stepping stone for this other thing, X or Y, and you're going to go and do that. So I think when you do that, it is going to be quite confusing for you because it's like, well, I've always wanted to do this. Why do I want to change now? Um, but you know, if you want to do that, do that. Don't question yourself. You know, you know what you feel and you know what you want to do. And we're all on a journey when, you know, we're not totally ever there anyway. We're all just learning and changing and all of that. Um, you know, if and if if you have pressure from outside, you know, from the outside, from people saying, "Oh, you've always wanted to do that. Why are you changing your mind?" Just say, "Well, I just want to change my mind." You know, don't let any of these outside influences stop you either. Do what you want. You know, if you feel like changing, if you feel like going backwards, whatever you feel like doing, in your heart is the right thing for you. I know that sounds a bit cringy, but that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so the next card you have your presence, the Ten of Cups. Beautiful card. This is a really, a very, very positive card, but it's also a very conventional card. This is a very con conventional setup, you know, with this couple and a family and all of that kind of thing. So I think there is a, a new relationship coming up for you. It's probably going to come up after you make this move. So it's not going to happen now and you're not ready for this now anyway. But later on, once you move or you go into this new thing and you're all settled, I think this is when this new person's going to come along. And, you know, it, it might sound a bit boring to you now, but they're very kind of settled, very comfortable. That's what I'm seeing in this card. And I think, I think that's that's a really good thing for you actually because you're quite a, 
um, you're sort of a very creative person and you need to have that creative outlet. You need to have that base of comfort and that stability under you so that you can go out and be creative. That's what I'm seeing. So I think this person's going to give that to you. They're a very supportive person. So I think this is going to be very good for you when this person comes up. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm seeing a lot of positivity. A lot of things are going to change for you. Once you make this big move, I think a lot of things in your life are going to change. You, you know, you're seeing things as they are now, but I think when all these things change for you, it's almost going to be like you're going to be thrown upside down. Not in a bad way, but you're going to see things from a totally different perspective. Everything, relationships, um, you know, your job, absolutely everything is going to be different for you. So, you know, it's hard to imagine that now. So, you know, it's hard for me to describe that to you now because you're probably it's probably hard for you to imagine, but it will be totally different then. And the other thing that's standing out to me in this card is this river that's going along. It's going along, there's this river, and it's kind of going along into the house or almost up to the door of the house, it looks like to me. So what that says to me is, obviously water represents emotion. So uh, the main thing that leads you to want to settle down and have a relationship with anyone is emotion, love, deep feelings. And you did not have that with this ex, with this person. Um, you didn't have that. You had a head connection with them, a mind connection, but it wasn't a deep heart connection. And I think you've told them that. I think you probably have, or they know that. Um, if it's not there, it's not there. You can't do anything about that, harsh as that sounds. I think they're still finding that really hard to come to terms with. I think they really wanted what this card represents with you. They really thought they had a future with you. It's very sad. Um, and uh, yeah, if you look at this card again, if you look at this family, they're actually standing on the outside of this scene. So yeah, there's a barrier there. So the barrier between them and what they want with you is the fact that um, you, you don't have these emotions. You don't have those deep emotions, sadly. So, so that's, that's what I'm seeing there. Okay, so the last card you have your presence, the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm really happy to see this. Um, you know, usually this card's about celebrations, parties, abundance, all of that kind of thing. It can be about a lot of different things. Actually, very, it's a lot more complex than it looks, actually, this card. But anyway, this is what I'm seeing in this. I'm seeing you spending time with people. I'm not seeing a party. I'm not seeing anything like that. This is about you getting things off your chest, getting your emotions off your chest, talking to people, probably just one or maybe two people who are very close to you. And it's just under the Ten of Cups, so it might be a family member that you're talking to. Uh, not a big group, a couple of people, maybe one person. And uh, this is you getting your emotions out. Because if you look at these women, they're holding their cups above their heads. So this is about putting your emotions first above your head, which is the opposite of what you've been trying to do when you've been suppressing all of this. So finally, you're putting your emotions, you're letting them all out, letting it all out, and you're going to talk to whoever this is, um, which is fantastic. I'm really, really happy that you're going to do this. This is the card of just letting loose. So you're going to be free to say all these things to this person. This is obviously someone you can really trust. Now, when you're having this conversation, if this is resonating with you, Make sure you're in a private place when you have these talks. Um, I'm not seeing gossip or any people listening into you or anything like that, but I think you are quite a private person. And I think it's, it's going to be really important for you to be able to just let loose without censoring yourself. So make sure you're in a safe place, make sure you're in a secluded place, a private place, and uh, then you can just let rip. <laughs> you can just let all your emotions out. I'm really glad you're doing this because I was feeling very uncomfortable um, when I was looking at the King of Swords and the Two of Cups and all of those. So this is really, really good to see. 
Okay, the first card you have for your future is uh, the lovers. So yeah, I'm just looking at this mountain in between these couple. It's heading up toward this angel. So you're on your way up, you're preparing, you're going to better things, you know that you are, you know you're doing this. This is a red mountain, so you mean business, that's where your passion is, that's where your head is. You're going to pursue this thing, you're going to do this move or whatever this is. Um, the other thing is, yeah, I'm still seeing this very difficult thing with this um, with this ex. Um, I think even way into your future, it's going to take them a long time to get over this. Um, I actually think what they're still going to be thinking at this time is that um, you've still got this decision to make and that you might, it's what they're thinking is, or what they're going to be thinking is that you can either come back to them or make this move and and make this choice like so what they're looking what they're thinking is oh this person has a choice between this thing that they're moving to this new thing or me that's how they're going to be seeing this because this is about a choice this card sometimes but you don't see it like that you don't see it like that it's over for you it's it's over you're going there's no there's no going back and um you know the thing is i think you have tried to tell them that but you know you don't want this conversation to get into this exhausting thing again that i was seeing in the queen of swords so you know you just have you just had to stop talking to them so i don't think there's any way that you can tell them this because i think you have tried already um i think the only thing that's going to cure this for them is just time and um and you know perspective on this whole thing so um, yeah, you've already made this decision. You already made this decision. You're on your way. So, yeah, I, I just hope I'm not going to make all the cross watchers angry. Um, okay, the next card you have for your future is strength. Yeah, okay, you, you don't want to hurt them. Look at the way this woman is with this line. This is you. You don't want to hurt them. You've tried to discuss this with them. You have tried, you're moving forward. All you can do is just think about yourself now because you have tried with them. Um, they might turn a little bit angry later on um, when they're still kind of processing all of this. I don't think you're in any physical danger. You might get a few angry texts, messages or something. So just prepare for that. Um, if you do get those texts or messages, don't take this to heart. Um, because again, I don't think you have bad intentions. You know, I think you just couldn't keep on um, going along with something that wasn't right. Uh, and it's not right for them. I mean, if you don't feel right about them, it, it's not right. I know it's, it's very, very hard for them. I know I keep on seeing, I really feel for this person. Um, yeah, you know, Angel, but you don't, you don't have bad intentions for anyone. You, you know, you don't wish bad on anyone. Um, so I'm also getting this kind of conflict here as well in this in this strength card. It's it's kind of a conflict inside yourself. So you want this, you want to go ahead with this, you really want this. There's also a little bit of fear inside you. It, it's a little bit like, I think what happens is you're kind of, yes, I want this, I'm going ahead, I really want this, I'm really strong. And then sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you think, oh, what am I doing? I'm making a big mistake, I don't want to do this. You know, don't don't let those fears stop you. Never, ever, ever let those fears stop you. Um, you know, you're bigger than those fears. Look at these two, um, look at this um, lion and this woman, they're bigger than the landscape around them. So just remember that you're doing the absolute right thing. And the other reason why I can see you doing the right thing is, I'm just looking at the lover's card, I'm looking at the temperance card. There are two angels there. In And the strength card is in between the two angels. So you're absolutely doing the right thing. So keep going, just go and do this thing. You know, just imagine yourself backing out now. How are you gonna feel? You're gonna feel horrible. You're always gonna look back and think, oh, I should have done that, I should have done that. So don't let yourself do that. Keep on pressing ahead, stay strong. You can absolutely do this, absolutely. The last card you have for your future is temperance. Yeah, here's this angel again. It's a sign, it's a sign. You're absolutely on the right track. Okay, so 
when you think about fear, this is the thing about fear as well. I don't know if this is going to help you. Might not even make sense, but I'll have a go. Okay, so fear is there for your basic survival. So it's there to remind you, how am I going to eat? How am I going to have shelter? How am I going to do this? It's the fear that keeps you kind of down there at your base level, if that makes sense. So it's like when you get out of that and you start to think or you start to want things that are beyond those basic things, it's like, oh, I want to do this great big thing. I want to get this great job. I want to do this amazing thing and I want to achieve this thing. Your fear kicks in. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. And it kicks in because it wants to bring you back to that base level. It wants to bring you back to that, what am I going to eat today? Where am I going to sleep today? It wants to bring you back to that. That's all fear is. It's trying to drag you back. Don't let it drag you back to the basics. You are not basic. You're way more than the basic. And you're going to go way beyond that. So that's what those fears are. So I hope that makes sense to you. And I really hope that helps someone. All I can see here is, even though it's very, very hurtful to break someone's heart, which I think is probably what's happened, it's, it's hard on you as well, but I know it's probably very, very hard on this other person. I know it is. Um, you're doing the right thing because you're, you know, you're going to where you need to go. You're going to where you have to go. This is where your destiny is. You've got these two angels. And, you know, the other thing is if, if this other person's trying to be with you and you're not feeling it, it it's not happening. It's not supposed to be. I'm sorry, cross watchers. So Pisces, I hope this resonated. General readings can't always resonate with everyone, as you know. But again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.